Hi, I'm Bee, and I'm a YouTube creator normally making sign language videos to music. However, this time's going to be a little bit different just because I feel the need to air my opinion a little bit. Everyone else does it, so why not me? There are three things that I hate in this world. A. Opinions shoved down my throat or my Facebook newsfeed. B. When telling people that I'm a sign language interpreter and them responding with, So you know Braille? Three. Mean, dumb people. What I'd like to discuss today are current events. When I say current events, things that are happening right now. There are three topics that are going on in this world and currently in my state for one of the topics that will be discussed. The first one, gorilla. I'm sure you've all heard about it and we'll get there. Second one, politics and riots. And lastly, Flint water. I wanna give you my opinion on the three. Just because I've heard every single story, every opinion, every two cents. So now you're about to get mine. Current event number one, gorilla. We've all heard the story. We know what happened. However, let's talk about the opinions involved, shall we? I've come up with four opinions that I have heard so far in the week that this story has come about. Number one, gorilla should be shot. As we all know, the gorilla was shot. We get it. For my three-year-old, which I have, I would want somebody to shoot the gorilla too. Opinion number two, the gorilla should be tranked. It'll drop like a fly. Mm-hmm, right, yeah. And you're a zookeeper? I'm a girl that grew up on a farm with horses. So I saw animals being tranquilized or put down or sedated. They don't drop like flies. People seem to think that a gorilla is going to drop like a fly. That's not what happens. So no, tranking an animal, it doesn't work. Opinion number three, parents should be shot. Or prosecuted but let's talk about the extreme first parents being shot for not being perfect parents for taking their eyes off their child were you there that leads way for any other parents that have children of the age to be shot because you can't do your job I definitely don't want to have any kids after this because uh, the fear of being shot? Thank God I'm a gun carrier and sorry for all those people that do not like guns or do not support guns, but I have to protect my own. And if that means that I'm going to be shot because I'm not being a perfect parent, then I'm going to have to protect myself. But I'm definitely not having any more children. Fourth opinion. This one really is interesting. The other day coming home from work, I heard on the radio, local radio station, during a commercial break, they did a spoof of the gorilla calling from heaven. The next commercial break, a woman calls and says, animal lover, and that three, four year old should be shot and killed. It's my reaction. I think I screamed at the radio. Majority of people have children. They know that three-year-olds, four-year-olds are active children. They're curious about the animals. You're at a zoo. That's what happens. But to say that the child should be shot, you're a little, you're a little messed up in the head. Okay? So if you're the person watching this and you're the one that called in to our local 955, and said that the child should be shot, please come to where I live because I'm gonna show you what you need, okay? It happened. This happens. It sucks and it's freakish, but it happens. 
Flint water. We all know that it's contaminated. But the one thing that people continue to ask me, do you drink Flint water? Do I look like I'm a type of person that drinks Flint water? No, because everyone that has the power to is not drinking the water. We're not drinking the water. Some are bathing, but we're not drinking the water. When discussions come up about Flint water, people say, oh, you've had so much donated to you. You guys are in the clear. It's resolved. Yeah, okay. I work in Flint. I know exactly what happens in Flint, especially in the classrooms. And let me assure you, there are some things that we're not liking. Things that Flint teachers hate. Yeah, okay, we are not cured. We have not found a solution. Apparently we're working on something, but I guess we're gonna have to see about that one. I don't like him, I don't like him, I don't like you. Please, 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 stop telling us that the water system has been fixed because we have donations of water. It is not fixed. Yes, students are staying hydrated. Yay for hydration. The desks are hydrated, the bases are hydrated, the teachers are even hydrated. But it is not fixed. So please stop saying that it's fixed. It doesn't sound fixed to me. Throw it up, throw it up, watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up, that's how we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up, watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. So I don't know if any of you know this, but Americans, they're rioting. They're tearing towns apart. They're setting things on fire. They're acting all cray cray, as my kids call it. For what? To get mainstream media coverage? You look like an idiot. You look dumb. Lives versus white lives versus cop lives versus blue lives versus purple lives. It's disgusting and it needs to stop. Every single person's life matters. You know, you've killed somebody or you've molested a child, that can mean nothing to me. But everyone matters. When did we become so segregated? I keep telling people I feel like history is repeating itself, that we're following in the same footsteps as past generations. To me, that's not logical. If it didn't work then, why would it work now? Because we have more media coverage? Because we have social media? Mm, nope, still won't work. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. We have to figure it out. We. We, we, we. French got it right, apparently.
we. We as a group, as a country, as America, need to be figuring it out, not fighting against one another. So this, let's separate all these lives because that's what, just what we're gonna do? That only makes me not like you more when here I am trying to fight for unity, for this belonging, and that's not happening. It doesn't work. I see it every day. I work in Flint. I see the struggles. I live in a very small, rural country, and I see it. I see it with younger generations. I see it with my generation. I see it with older generations. It doesn't, it's not a generational thing. It's a people, how you're raised thing how you are influenced as a person. To me, it's about who you are as a person. It's not about your age. So when people say, oh, it's just that generation, I'm sorry, what? Again, you're making these separations between ages, people, ethnicities, race, whatever. Why are we creating boundaries? We should be creating connection but we're not, but we're just continuing to generate this hate. It's not Trump's fault, it's not Hillary's fault, it's not Bernie's fault, it's our fault. It is America's fault. We, the people, we are an entity. We are a group. We are supposed to be together. Right now we are separated. It doesn't work that way. I am a person that has feelings and I understand things that go on. I don't have to be the most knowledgeable person about politics. Don't want to be. I want to be me, but I want to be a we. I'm out.